most important of recent newsreel films from the Western Front are the pictures of the attacks on Flushing and Vescapella, the assault on the half-flooded island of Valkyra. Commandos and other British troops are seen on their way across the Skelt towards Flushing. The force arrived early in the morning and landed in the face of heavy opposition on a small beachhead which was under continuous fire from German batteries in land. This battle, of course, was a vital part of the struggle to free the approaches to Antwerp and the importance of Antwerp as a supply port certainly needs no stressing. In Flushing itself, there was heavy street fighting, with snipers, as usual, doing their worst. An equally vital part of the battle for Volkeren was the attack on Vescapella. Our heavy guns had been maintaining their pounding of Bosch positions on the island. While these big guns sent shell after shell into Valkyren, the Navy, Royal Marines and Canadian forces combined to attack Ves Capella. This attack was one of the grimmest of the whole war. Heavy shelling from the enemy met the landing craft, many of which were lost. Our typhoons dived on the Hun and blasted him with rockets. Our rocket firing ships poured a murderous fire into the defenders' positions while our smoke ships laid a covering stream. In spite of desperate resistance by the Hun, the British assault force landed, and the bloody battle for Valkyren, the battle for the freeing and the use of the port of Antwerp, continued. From the violence of the enemy's defence, two things are perfectly clear. First, the value Germany placed on denying Antwerp to us. Second, the supreme determination, skill and courage of our troops making this frontal assault on the Valkyren beachheads. <laughs> 